everybody, this is not a spring chicken. I know, I'm so excited because we are out, 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 okay, in this room, which we have so much more room, but we don't get to set up out here, not nearly often enough, but it's so exciting. There's no heat in this room. I have lots of space. Well, it's actually warmer than the other location where we typically go. It's funny, the studio is warmer than the hell. I know, it's really kind of funny. Oh, so anyway, so the big news today is in Europe, they're rounding up illegal immigrants or actually people that do not belong in their countries, and they're sending them home or putting them in jail. Whereas here in the United States, in, <laughs> in Congress, they're saying that now us U.S. citizens could go ahead and pay for the health care of illegal immigrants. Oh, boy, what a difference in the world. I mean, we are so gracious and generous as U.S. citizens, aren't we? Okay. Where else do you get that treatment? Anywhere else but the U.S.? I mean, what? We couldn't do that to them? Okay, guess what every other country is doing, right? It's like the... Anyway. Okay, I could go on and on. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kem on with comments on the headlines of today. We have the room <laughs> this time. Because you get to play all over this thing. Ooh. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they said that Carl Rowe is throwing a fit this morning as, uh, you know, Charles Krauthammer and others that are saying that we have to give... We have to cave into the Democratic Party in order for the Republican Party to survive and abandon the core principles of the Republican Party so that the Republican Party can survive. Well, this morning, everybody that was for immigration reform quit being for immigration reform this morning when it was found out. They put it, they simply wanted one request to move it out of committee it was that the, that the uh, Congress reaffirmed that the laws that are already on the books are going to be followed. 53 Democrats out of 53 Democrats voted no. Mm. No, that they will not. You know what that? They said, according to the immigration laws, you cannot get social services unless you're here legally if you're an immigrant. You also cannot get driver's licenses. You can't get health care benefits. None of this stuff. Under Obamacare, if you are here illegally, you cannot be part of the health care system. Democrats said that all had to be that. No citizenship required now. Mm. You just get everything like you were a citizen, but you don't have to be a citizen of the country. Not even do you have to speak the language now. You don't? No. And they basically, it killed, they said it flat out stopped. I mean, I, I, you got to imagine, Obama is basically, he comes out yesterday with his, we're going to get this thing done this month, and we're going to solve the problem. Well, it is now dead. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, they're, okay, when you have the, the people that basically are willing to give the immigrants anything they want in order to get their votes, basically said, well, if you're not going to enforce the laws on the book, we're not going to simply do it. So it, it's a dead... Immigration died this morning with the Democratic Party wanting to give everybody that comes into the country, you know, a, a de facto citizenship without ever having to become citizens. And Obama zombies invade CPAC after dark. I know. Well, because, okay, here's a good one. You've got the liberals and the conservatives who is basically providing information on how to handle zombie attacks, who is providing information <laughs> On, on zombies from the Center of Disease Control, and who believes in zombies? It's not the conservative Republicans, <laughs> folks, it's the Democrats. Wait, you mean zombies aren't real? They think they're real. <laughs> they also think that Sven Gulli on, the, on the, uh, the Me Channel is a real person, and he's actually a relative of Count Dracula that comes out once a week to do horror stories. <laughs> Iran, Syrian, Arab Spring top Obama's agenda on the Israel trip. Yeah, and he got, okay, the Arab Spring is a disaster, Turkey's a problem, and Israel basically, no one knows what Israel is doing, but I'm guessing that they didn't tell Obama what their plans were, because, oh, well, hell, the world just went, they predicted within the next 30, by the end of April, probably South Korea will no longer exist because of Obama. Ooh. They are. Uh, they're, they said the North Koreans are preparing to invade the South, they know they're preparing to invade the South, and guess what our president is doing? He's going to ratchet up zones mm. and drones to be fired into North Korea. Oh, see, North Korea is a desolate country. Their leaders all work out of bumpers, bunkers. They don't care how many people you killed over there, folks, because it's less people to feed. I mean, I remember the Korea bit 
where, um, where what happened was, was they would stage charges against the American lines just to see how many people that we were willing to let die against an army that couldn't be stopped. Mm -hmm. So they, they have a different thing about life in Asia than we do in this country. Newton victims present parents seek answers from Adam Lanza's father. Yeah, I would have told him to go take a fly and leap. First of all, he had nothing to do with it. You know, the gun was totally legal. Okay, the gun that was used in the thing would be legal after, the, after all of the stuff they're doing. It's not an assault weapon. It's a machine pistol. It is not a rifle. It is a pistol. Pistols are not being declared illegal. Oh. Just assault rifles. And only the assault rifles that are military style, which means if you get a hunting style assault rifle, it still is legal. So they basically nothing gets accomplished, but you know, the you know, well the Newton people, we want to have more we want more money for the killing of our kids. Mm. I mean, I can okay, if one of my kids got killed, I definitely wouldn't want more money for it. I'd want the height of the person that did it. Yeah, I I know. Money, you know, well Money you know, does not bring them back. I know. You, you know, so uh, it, it's ridiculous. Well, Newton does have sort of a Jewish name to it, so. And North Dakota lawmakers define life as starting at conception. I know, but the problem is since you don't know when conception takes place, mm -hmm. you can't really have a definition, which basically why the Supreme Court tosses it out every time. Because oh, they do? You have no, okay, well, we think that the baby was created in the back of the car three months ago at six o'clock in the morning. Well, didn't they just say conception? Mm -hmm. Since you don't know when any child is actually conceived, it therefore is impossible to put when, you know, when their law takes place, so. And FAA to close 149 control towers to meet budget cuts. Which they said was not necessary because they have plenty of money, okay. Uh, they said there was plenty of money, okay. Uh, this is not, the money was not cut from the budget. It is cut from future spending. This is money that was added to the budget. This is all they did, and they only took one half of what they were going to cut. So there was no reason to cut anything. Oh, but they did say Obama is going to have an Easter egg roll that costs more money than operating the White House thing for a full year. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and he also gave the Palestinians $500 million to continue to riot against the United States and Israel yesterday. Uh-huh. And Chicago announces a mass closing of elementary schools. Because Chicago doesn't have any... Illinois is broke. Here's this great thing. We're going to make all the money up that we're not getting in taxes by increasing taxes on business. Mm -hmm. Guess what the businesses are doing by the tons? They're leaving the state leaving them in a hole now. You know, they give all these teachers new salaries, they give all these things new salaries. Now they're closing the schools and these teachers have no jobs now because they got salary increases in a state that's busted. Uh-huh. Yeah, what good does it do to have a salary increase when you don't oh, have Oh, they're a job? suing the state. They're demanding, we have a contract, you have to pay us. Uh -huh. That isn't gonna happen, folks. And Blackberry shares Diamond reports have muted the U.S. <coughs> debut for the Z10. Yeah, uh, we can guarantee that I was told by a person at one of the events that they couldn't give away the blackberries. That They thought they were going to have more people show up than did, and they said, unfortunately, the next day they were handing them out to people that walked by the business free of charge. Mm -hmm. The blackberry died because of the email problems with it. And the fact that it's basically... Why, why did they still have email problems with it? No, they had email problems with it, and that killed the blackberry. Oh. They switched to the other devices. Plus, the blackberry is very expensive. The, the plan to use it is very expensive, and now because AT&T is basically really not happy with the fact that the stock has tanked by 50% since they made the pitch to buy the company. Uh -huh. um, Microsoft did not violate Google patent, ITC judge. Yeah, um, Google is losing right and left. Google is basically a monolith on the internet. They're dealing with companies that are monolith as businesses and the internet is always going to get trumped by the big business because the big business hires more people than the internet company does. And Cypress banks remain closed to avert run on deposits. Isn't that amazing? Our markets are going high on the, they're really going wild today on the news. There's no run. This problem since Cypress is over, there's no run on the banks. That's because well, they're closed. They're keeping the banks closed to keep a run from happening. And now what's going to happen, they said, that Cyprus has a parliamentary style government, which means they're going to force the Prime Minister 
Cyprus to call an election. When the election is called, they're going to throw everybody out of office to seize the assets of every business in the country. Yeah. You cannot operate a country if you take 40% of the money they have in a bank. Oh, that's true. And Britain's Prime Minister Cameron unveils a sweeping immigration crackdown. Yeah, they, they're going to start, they're, they're basically rounding them up putting them in jails and then taking them to airplanes and sending them back to the countries they came from at the expense of the countries. When they get sent back, they then go to jail immediately. It's just like, if you're an illegal, if we illegally enter Canada and they find out about it, they throw your ass out, which is what's happening to Randy Quad. If you go to Mexico illegally, they put you in a jail cell and ship you across the border at the government's expense. Every country in the world but the United States We'll toss your butt in a jail cell and then ship you out of the country. What? Here they say we'll give you health care. And I'm going to tell people, here's something exciting. Because everybody knows my wife was Asian. It's sort of obvious, isn't it? Uh, you know, back in the 1940s, they confiscated all the property that they weren't supposed to have legally and put them in, in what amounted to concentration camps. Uh, my, my other side of the family is American Indian. Anybody remember about the reservations? My family still sets on. So when you say they can't, Remember the Trail of Tears. Remember those great camps in the West Coast during World War II and say they can't because they can. And they were Democrats that were doing it, folks. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, there, there, basically there's, there comes a time when you have to get off your butt and actually do the job.